Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my second map guide video where we're today going to be covering Karachi. Karachi has control, hardpoint and SD in its Modern Warfare 3 rank plays rotations. And we're going to be covering jump spots, some nice line of sights, some bomb check spots. And then before that, we're going to be just covering the callouts on the map for those of you who still aren't quite sure of what the callouts are or could be. Um, they're not definite callouts, but they'll give you some ideas. Um, so this is just this is one of the, the jump spots actually we're going to be covering the video uh, but I'm going to show you just how exactly we get there in due course. So starting off with this area of the map this is now the P4 area right here uh, so in this in which case I call this P4. You've got fire car there uh, if you want to determine a particular headshot uh, head glitch sorry this is shop you then have balks balconies which are those areas here white truck bottom sat which is here because there's a satellite dish just at the top here. So bottom sat, up top there is top sat. Moving. Uh, and then moving back around to this area, you have AC, which is on top of this area here because there's an AC unit. Uh, me and my team call this Yellow Alley or uh, Yellow Alley because there's a lot of a yellow hue here and there's also a yellow car. This is yellow car. We then have back P2, which is just this general area here, anywhere back here, back P2. Pop up is just that anything around that wall then have in p2 you have p2 small bus stop bus arches or red arches if you wanted to be really specific this is l you've got vending which is in here because of the vending machines you've got desk because obviously it's a desk. You then have fire balcony, which is this one here. You then have bottom fire, top fire, red uh, uh, top single, bottom single. Uh, you've then got red balcony. So obviously the other one's fire balcony. This one's red balcony. You then have shacks, which is uh, or scrapyard as some people call it, but uh, shacks is a little bit more efficient which is this general, this whole area here, or P5, because that's where the new hill is. Uh, you then have P3, which is in here. You have left P3, which is back here. Back P3, which is here. And then right P3, which is over this side. You then have arches here, which, okay, I know we've just said arches, but hopefully you guys, you know, it's easy to know what you guys are talking about, because if P3's up, when you say arches, you're going to mean here. Uh, you then have storage, which is this general area in here. You've got spiral, which are these spiral stairs. Top broken. Top third. Top second. Market roof. Top market. Bottom market. They're in this deep area here. It's chickens. You then got scaffolding, which is either above there, like top or bottom scaffolding. Then got top or bottom bridge. This moves us back to um, P4, sorry. You then have P1. Credit corner is behind there, or fridge. Uh, this used to be a fridge, I'm pretty sure. Um, but credit corner. And as I said, P1. Top fire. Uh, this little area in there is called Moving secret here. then have bottom church and top church i think that about covers it obviously if there's any areas i've missed and you want to know specific call out ah, sandbags Moving. this area here if there's any specific specific areas i've missed that you want call outs for just let me know so kicking it off with this area map in particular i am going to start with the one you saw just a little bit earlier on um, and in order to get up there Moving you literally here. just have to jump from the white van and this provides you a nice little line of sight down past p4 uh, and you can always sort of watch b bomb from here as well but obviously you can't see the actual site itself or if they run through markets you're going to want to be slightly elsewhere if that is the case from this white van uh, or or just from here to be fair you can hop up to this little bit of a cover here and then from here you can watch any people crossing towards b uh, but if you wanted to you know watch the entire b cross you can sit back here and the only really real way they're, they're going to get past you is if they go all the way around the back through there which is pretty unlikely in an s &D, but this is a nice little way you can you know cover this whole uh, sort of line of sight to the map 
Uh, and then from here, you can also chow top third. But if you are to do so, I'd recommend lying down and chowing like this because this little triangle here, this little coving, uh, sort of covers your uh, line of sight and provides that little bit extra cover from the enemy shooting you. Moving on to top satellite just up here. From up here, you can sort of get down here and you can play a really nice cruddy angle, uh, just like so. So either one of these. Uh, you can actually drop down a little bit further if you slowly strafe. You get down here and if you back up, you can see them crossing here. And it's just as simple to jump back up. Just like that. Now from top AC, it's worth it. You can, noting that you can chow top broken. So if you've got a nice beam on you, you've got a nice line of sight there. Um, also from here, I see a lot of people challenge red. Uh, now that's great, but I'd, I'd obviously recommend laying down to chow them. Um, but if you don't want to jump through the window because you think like, someone might be there, you can either hop onto this balcony or this one. Then from here, this takes us to P2. So just moving to this top up here, I see a lot of people run down this line of, down this alley here to get to the hop up, and they just mantle, they just jump up. Like, like so they mantle up and then there's someone just sat on this heli ready to take them off guard now what I'd recommend doing and which is what I do every time if I'm forced to come up this way obviously I'd love to take a route if I, I don't like coming here because it's almost a guaranteed death but to give my chances uh, a little bit of a bump uh, I come to the very right hand side of this use this as a little bit of a higher heady aim jump and you can just beam some people like that so hope you get a point <laughs> um, from here There's a, obviously the bombs, you can plant the bomb for here. And then from here, you've got a nice little line of sight of anyone crossing the bomb. Nice little cruddy. Similarly, you can also see it through here as well. So if you're trying to play a little bit passive, uh, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, for example, and they've got a little time to get to the bomb. Play back here, and then just check the bomb just like so. You can get on top of here so this is a capture point now in p2 and the control point um so this is a nice little place to capture it from you can get on top of this ledge just by jumping you can do it at any point and then it gives you a little bit of height to chow do it at both sides and you can do it here as well from here you can get onto the bus From the bus, you can hop in just like that. That, or you can hop into this window. Bit of a stretch, it takes some practice, but there's that. Um, moving onwards down into uh, this vending area here. If you're ever on this heady, never stand because you're fairly open and you can crouch. And if you crouch, you're on an absolute god heady. This is the perfect height for your head to be barely visible. Um, so the enemy is literally going to be seeing your top hairs on your head um, if you're crouched like this. And then you obviously can shoot them just like so. Whilst we're in this area, um, I see a lot of people come up the stairs to get to top red. And from here, you're, you're pretty open to anyone who's already here, anyone here, or just anyone that's just generally up here. Because you've got to check like four or five different ways. Uh, instead, I like to just hop up here. Just like so. And then you're up. Um, if I know someone's top AC, and I'm going to tell them from red, I like to come down here and beam them just like so. Use this as sort of a head glitch. And now let's move on to P5. So from this track in particular, if you aim to the corner of this uh, this this wall. a little bit off there you can hop up just like that and then you can go straight in worth bearing in mind that you do not need to jump over this bit here you can literally just walk over so if you want to get somewhere efficiently let's say you're, you're coming off spawn and you want to get top there's no need to jump it just wastes time you can just hop in just like so um, and then from here there's actually a nice place so that you can get them into if you get four down on control and you're on defense and you're trying to trap them back in this area here you can lay down just here um, and from here they can't get out of spawn this is a really nice heady 
hard to kill you off. Uh, and you should be able to get some free kills here before potentially being naded off this at some point. So back P3. There's a nice heady here, which you can see straight into P1. Um, so if someone's sort of blocking you from getting through that line of sight, you can chow from back here. That, or you can just cut the map off for search and destroy. Uh, so if you've, got, if you've got bomb down at either bomb site and you're trying to cut the map, you can say, right, guys, I've got the whole of mid. I can see if they cross the whole of mid, back P3, and you've all you've just got to cover is everywhere else. You can sit back here and you can do that. Very important job for your team. Now in back P3, um, you can get up here. here. Simplest way to do that is jump on here, jump again, crouch, and you're in. And similarly, you can do up here just from jumping from the Move counter. Uh, these are nice little spots that people have to come out of their way to check because realistically, a lot of people just assume you're sat behind there. Um, but yeah, you can do that as well. While we're in here, obviously this is a really nice heady and storage room to challenge anyone coming to the point. Um, I'd recommend being in the very far corner here, but yeah, this is very easily killable, especially considering this, these walls are paper thin, so be very cautious that that can happen. Moving on to market. The easiest way to get to the roof for a 100% guaranteed is if you aim at this line here whilst being stood on here and jump, you're up, uh, and that gets you to the roof. Similarly, uh, you can get on any single one of these things. So if you're trying to play a credit corner up here, uh, you can play it like this, or you can get on the ones up here. It's just nice knowing that these are an option for a little bit of cover. Now this one here in particular, if you come to the very edge and stand, come to this area here and jump, you can actually you know, get a line of sight, come down, jump, line of sight. Unfortunately, you can't get all the way up. It sort of stops you from getting up. But this is a nice little spot in which you can surprisingly chow top church or top satellite or even top bridge to be fair. Now, whilst you're up here, there is a nice little bomb check here. So, bomb's here and if you plant it for here, obviously, you can crowd and see where bomb is just like so. And if you need to check your back, you can just look through this vent. Uh, this is something I commonly use. Hush, hush. Um, but yeah, this is basically a nice little spot where you can do that. From here, you can also jump onto Broken. And then, so if someone's camping the stairs, you can go all the way around, hop up, come here, and then you can just tell them at the stairs. From up here, you can jump onto the sign. And this provides you with a nice line of sight towards middle. You can also get back onto here. Oh, you saw it. You can also get on there as well, but that provides you another line of sight to chow either top brick or um, back here, which is just a you know, play unexpected is the, is the biggest thing there, I guess. Now, if you're trying to get to someone in that window and you don't want to go all the way around, you can actually hop in from this bench. If you come to the very edge of the bench, come and then look up. You can hop in. You can also jump onto the scaffolding from here. And this provides you with a, if you come right to the edge, obviously it's pretty useless, you can't see much, but you can veer away from the edge slightly to give yourself an absolute god heady to top church, you back up even further, it's to top satellite, uh, and you can even get to top bridge from here as well. So that's a really nice little play. From bridge, you can come up here. Now you can walk along this whole, the barbed wire bit bizarrely is the only bit you can walk along as soon as you get to these concretes, you can't, um, but from here, you can sort of watch the bomb site if it gets planted uh, at this bomb site. Now I see a lot of people get a little bit stuck getting up to scaffolding here, um, which is fair enough. This, this is what happens. Um, but I, the guaranteed way in which you can do this, come up to these double bits, spam jump, and you're up. And it's almost you can do this like 100% of the time. Spam jump, and then once you're up here, uh, obviously, you can climb bar over here. You can use this as a, uh, as a bit of a head glitch. Um, but you can also top up to top second here. And a lot of people I see mantle over. But that gives you a really vulnerable for anyone who's watching this hop up from red. Instead, if you aim in, if you jump onto that, then that, and then up, you don't ever have to not aim in. Just like so. Very clean, very nice. You can also jump onto here. Uh, which I don't know if it has any real value but you can chow people out just like so. And then similarly, you can get in every single one of these balconies. So if I started up here, up 
in here. You can veer around the, the, the edge. You can parkour a little bit. You can check bridge from this height, which they might not expect. Uh, but yeah, you can sit in any of these. You can do the exact same thing in these balconies, which is handy for P4, which is just here. Just like so. Um, so we've also... You can also get on sort of any of these vending machines. So if you're trying to hold a, an angle here, this is a nice little heady uh, to check if anyone's coming through this way. You can obviously get on top of here and then shut the door if you lay down, <laughs> which is a little bit annoying. Um, but moving on to P1 area, P1 side of things. So I see a lot of people in the hill here stay down. Now I think staying down in this hill is great until you get the initial kills, but then you want to sort of act as another member of the team and push up. So you can, from here, you've got a nice little heading to watch red. So you can say, yeah, I'll be watching red. Um, and you can do that from the hill. Similarly, you can watch the other side of the map through here. Um, you can get onto this heady here. Now, a lot of people don't challenge this because there's barrels. But realistically, you, you're a little bit higher than they are. And on this head glitch here, you can sort of level yourself with the barrels. Uh, so that if anyone hops on here, all they're seeing is a head. Uh, and you can challenge them just like so. You can also hop up on here. It says, there we are. Uh, and then from here, obviously, you've got another nice line of sight onto the bomb, especially if you lay down. Uh, if you plant the bomb for the right-hand side here, you, I mean, you're, you're chilling. Uh, you can also chat anyone from the top bridge from here as well. You can shoot through all of this. Um, and then also from here, you can move yourself into secret. The other way, obviously, to move into secret is if you come top, uh, top AC. Up, down. And then if you hop... You come back a little bit actually i'm going to show you something quickly this is a nice little head glitch onto i mean people are already going to be looking top ac anyway um, but this is a nice little head glitch you can come onto just to watch anyone mid or top or top red or top fire just here but yeah you can also hop in just like so and uh you're in it's worth bearing in mind that you can also wall bang this as well so if you get a live mark on an enemy you can just come here and beam them and they're going to probably think you're hacking uh, which often which often happens um but that's just something to worth know if your team's a decent alive marking you can utilize that um, and use it as a, as a proper good strength. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. If there's anything I've forgotten, feel free to leave it down in the comments down below just so that anyone else who views this video uh, has, a, has a helping hand from uh, the little community we've got going here. Um, but yeah, that's going to do for now. As I say, if you've got any questions about today's video, leave it down in the comments and let me know what map you'll like to see next. That'll do from me. Ciao for now.